cataractcoach.com, and we're going to show you a technique of how to spiral out the capsularexis. It's easier to start off making a smaller capsularexis and then spiral it out until the appropriate size. Let me show you this. So here's our eye already full of viscoelastic. We've made the main incision, and we're going to get our capsularexis forceps here. So we've got our capsularexis forceps going in the eye. That's about the size we want. Poke in the center. And we'll start off on the smaller side. Watch this. A little bit smaller, and we spiral it bigger and bigger. And keep spiraling it outward until it's about the right size. And here, right about now, it's the correct size. So we'll keep grabbing it. Keep it the same size now. Don't spiral it in or out. Keep it this size. Take our time nice and slow. No rush at all. And we're keeping that exact same size. But now when we come back to the beginning, we're going to have to go past the 360 mark and continue till we have the entire rexus that size. There you go. That spiraling out technique allows us to really dial in the exact size we want. It's easier to do it that way than it is to just try to start off with exactly a 5 millimeter rexus. Here we are at the end of the case showing that there's the overlap of the rexus on top of the optic, so it turned out to be exactly what we wanted. So if you're not starting off, you're a novice surgeon, you're learning caps rexus, try the technique of spiraling out, starting a little bit smaller and then spiraling it to a bigger size. And remember, you can certainly go past the 360 degree mark. Once you have that complete first turn, you may need to go a little further, another uh, halfway around just to get the appropriate size. Thank you for watching.